the ambassador of Lebanon to the UK, Rami Mortada. Thank you, Your Excellency, for joining me on the programme. And you heard Tom Much, our correspondent's summing up of the situation as far as Lebanon is concerned. And you have a reason for wanting to appear on this programme this afternoon. So maybe you'd be kind enough to explain what that is. Thank you for having me. Uh, I think the reason is shared by everyone, which is to uh, um, emphasize that it's time for this uh, appalling uh, conflict to end and to de-escalate, because increasingly the potential for regional uh, spillover is, uh, is, is there. Uh, from our side in, in Lebanon, the Lebanese government is obviously doing its utmost uh, for Lebanon not to be embroiled in this conflict. But the Israeli provocations uh, are becoming uh, more and more intense on our side of the, of the border. Despite the relative self-restraint from the Lebanese side, uh, we've been witnessing sporadic clashes now for, uh, uh, for a month. Uh, we do not want escalation, but at the same time, no country can stand idly when uh, its territories uh, are, are targeted and when, when its citizens are, are killed. Uh, two days ago, the Israelis uh, blatantly targeted a civilian car, uh, killing uh, a grandmother with her, with her three grandchildren. Uh, so civilians are being targeted. In parallel, the level of violence in, in Gaza carries all the risk for a regional spillover, not only towards Lebanon, but I think towards uh, uh, different uh, destinations in the region and, and beyond. We, we're all witnessing the, the passionate protests in different European capitals, uh, including London. So this is a very uh, high intensity and passionate conflict. Uh, uh, therefore, the, the, the trend should be reversed as soon as as possible uh, before we get though, entangled may, may, may into I a larger you, when, when you say um, Israeli um, action which has an impact on us, do you mean us, we, the country of Lebanon, or do you mean Hezbollah? Because isn't Israel responding to attacks, regular sporadic attacks firing from Hezbollah, which is a militant terrorist organization? What, what is the situation for people who are not familiar with the politics of Lebanon? And alas, there'll be many of us who aren't. What is the, what is the situation vis-a-vis Hezbollah in Lebanon, why it has such a stronghold there, how the, the, the situation is with government and that organization together. The civilians that are being targeted and the territories are being targeted uh, by the Israelis are Lebanese territories. Uh, they have nothing to do particularly with Hezbollah. Also, Hezbollah is part of the Lebanese uh, uh, fabric and they are somehow uh, represented, represented in the government and in parliament, they have wide popular representation. Of course, they have their modus operandi, uh, but as I said, the Lebanese state is doing its utmost to rein in everyone because we're not interested in, in being embroiled in the, in the conflict. But I think once the level of violence uh, crosses a certain threshold, it's difficult to, uh, to contain the, the spillover uh, effect. Uh, it becomes natural, not only towards Lebanon, but uh, throughout uh, the, the region. Is, That's it, why is, it's is it true, imperative. Ambassador, that is it true that you were hoping or that you wanted to express on this programme a desire to be instrumental, to be some kind of broker of peace, to be some kind of architect of an agreement or an on, to, on some kind of entente cordiale that you, Lebanon, would try to bring about? Is that right? Is that what you're aiming to do or you would want to do? Well, Lebanon has always been a peace-loving country. At the same time, uh, Lebanon has never uh, 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 stand uh, idly when, when its territories were, were occupied. So yes, we want de-escalation in the region. We want stability in the region. We want to reverse this trend. And we think that the level of violence in, in Gaza is simply worrying. Uh, so we would be ready to do our utmost uh, for uh, de-escalation and for sparing the civilian lives. The, the death toll in, in Gaza among Palestinian uh, civilians is, is appalling. Uh, so ceasefire at the earliest, at, I, I think the most pressing uh, ethical uh, and political imperative is to have a ceasefire. 
because this conflict is leading nowhere uh, would you, would and, you, and would you be able to start would you be effort. able ambassador to attempt at least to bring your powers of persuasion to bear upon Hamas maybe using your Hezbollah contacts in government as you've just said they're embroiled and embedded in the fabric of Lebanon to say release the Israeli hostages there are 240 of them we don't know how many of them are alive or dead but to say that obviously a ceasefire is predicated on the release of those hostages, so to try to persuade Hamas to let those people, babies, elderly people, sick people, go home to Israel, and then, of course, a ceasefire will ensue, will it not? Isn't that what you need to do? There are many mediators working on this dossier, and I think if uh, they're given a chance, if, if the, the violence and the atrocities are, are checked and curbed, the Israeli uh, uh, military operation is curbed, I think uh, room for for uh, diplomacy and and good offices will will become more uh, more more uh, uh, credible. Uh, uh, what should be done is to halt the the Israeli military operation, which is leading nowhere except for killing civilians, uh, and start a diplomatic process. And I think then everyone would be would be able to contribute positively to this uh, dynamic. But as long as war mongers are, are taking the decisions in, in Israel, there is no room for good offices and for, and for, uh, and for mediation. Did, did you use the word war mongers? Is that what you just said? Yes, that's what we see in the Israeli behavior. You don't see instead a response to an entirely unprovoked massacre on innocent people. You see war mongers. You don't see that the entire a hideous conflagration of loss and death and wretchedness and misery was caused really by what happened on October the 7th and that was not started by the Israelis and was nothing to do with the Israelis. It was inflicted upon the Israelis. Is that not what you see when you well, call well, Israelis no warmongers? No one condones what happened on October the, well, the 7th. How can you, we have how can you describe Israelis as warmongers though? If they were Sorry? responding, how could you use the word warmongers when they were the responders and the innocent victims of a hideous massacre entirely unprovoked? How can you then call them warmongers for responding to something that was done to them, not by them? Uh, how do you describe killing more than 10,000 Palestinian civilians in, in Gaza? Isn't that warmongering? Well, you would you would have heard the we president of the, you will have heard the president of the United killed. States. You will have heard our Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. You might even have heard our King talk about Israel's right to self-defense after being the victim of that kind of unprovoked attack. You will not hear them use the word warmongers in response to that. So, so, that let, a, let, so let me let me finish this right interview, which I'm very grateful. Grateful it's to you for, for granting me, but by asking, how will how will Lebanon proceed now? What are you going to try to do to help to engender the peace that you would like to see? Well, uh, we are uh, uh, checking in every everyone, and we uh, we are doing our utmost not to be entangled into the the conflict. But uh, but as I said, it needs cooperation from all stakeholders. When the level of violence is what it is in in Gaza. Uh, there is, uh, th there will be a moment where it be becomes very difficult to contain the conflict in its original theater of operation. Notwithstanding our effort, we really are not interested in, in, in uh, joining the, the war. Uh, we have enough problems in, in Lebanon. Uh, so we really hope that for the, for the violent trend to be, to be reversed. Here, here. And on Ambassador, thank you very much indeed me. for giving us your time this afternoon. We appreciate it enormously. Thank you.